Hey guys and welcome back to another Dark Vault tutorial. Today we're going to be making a hologram and ghost material within Blender. So I'm going to start off by making the material on this text here and then we're going to apply it to an object and see how that looks. So with this text here I'm going to uh, add a new material. I'm going to split this window, change it to the node editor. Then in fact if I just zoom in here and change this to rendered you can pretty much see what it's doing. Okay, so let's delete the diffuse and we're going to add in a transparent shader. Transparent. We're also going to add in an emission shader and then a mix to mix them both together. So connect them up. Okay, so then choose the color that you want for your um, for the material. It doesn't matter which color you choose depends on your shot, it's all going to be different for you, so I'm just choose a light blue and connect that up. Okay, so it doesn't look too great right now, so let's increase this strength to 2. Okay, so now if we shift A and we go to input and then down to layer weight, and if we just increase this and change this over to the object view so you can see what, it, what it's doing. Select one of these, it doesn't matter which, connect that up to the factor and then straight away we can see it's already having a, a decent effect on it. So what we need to do is shift A and then we go down to converter, add in a math, connect them up. Again it doesn't matter which way around you do it as long as they're all connected and then we want to decrease the blend. So this again dep it depends on how you want your, uh, your material to look and um, the more you increase it or less. So I'm going to shift D and duplicate this. I'm going to take this and plug it straight into the bottom and then I'm going to add in shift A, add in input and wireframe. So we're going to connect the factor into the factor there. And you see straight away it looks way too big so what we need to do is reduce it. So click pixel size or select pixel size and then reduce it or increase it to the amount that you want. So the more you increase it here the bigger they get. So see 0.5 if you zoom out and then adjust it so you can see uh, exactly how it's affecting it because if you zoom in too far you probably won't get a detailed look okay so we're going to shift D and duplicate this one more time and we're going to duplicate the transparent node what we need to do is make this white so just increase the red and the green and then we're going to connect this up to the bottom input and then input I want light path. And this light path's a really good node, it uses loads of different things, but what we need is the transparent depth, plug that into the factor, and then there you go, it closes it off. So that final uh, step there, you don't really need to have it, it depends on uh, how you want your objects to look. So on this object here, I'm just going to take away the materials, and re replace them with the material we just made. So. Okay, so if we go into rendered view, we can see there's a couple of ones there I forgot to change. I'm going to take this material off and put this material on. Okay, so this is a screenshot of the, um, the node setup. So if you want to save this, I'll take a screenshot of it so you can save it for later. So if you just mute in the last, uh, the last nodes that we set up, you see it completely changes it, but it's still a hologram effect. So just by uh, changing a few nodes or muting the mix shader, so again just missing a step, will give you a completely different result. So it depends on what um, effect you're going for. If you are looking for a ghost effect, you can just miss out the middle um, step, so where the, uh, the wireframe is. So here's another screenshot of showing you a basic ghost effect. You just want to add a little bit more, and uh, yeah, there it's done. So I hope this helped. Um, if it did, give it a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. So yeah. Thanks for watching.